Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends of the scientific community, good afternoon from Trieste, Italy. My name is Romain Morenzi, and I'm the executive director of the World Academy of Sciences for the Advancement of Science in the Developing World, known as UNESCO TWAS. Although I could not be there in person, I'm truly honored to be in your company for the opening of the 2021 World Conference on Science Literacy organized by our friends of the China Association for Science and Technology, CAST. And I'm grateful to have this opportunity to make UNESCO TWAS voice heard in connection to the topic of this edition, enhancing science literacy and jointly building a green home. CAST devotes itself to boosting the development of science and technology and enhancing science literacy, among other things, exactly like UNESCO to us. Indeed, the two organizations share a lot and may become strong allies in crucial efforts. When reflecting on science literacy for my remarks, I realize that in today's world, it's more important than ever to communicate science in ways that the lay persons can understand it so that they can discern between what is fake and what is real and take action for the, their well-being accordingly. It is also important that, than ever to communicate science in a ways that policymakers can understand it so that they can introduce, implement, and accelerate evidence-based policies and take action for people's well-being accordingly. This is exactly what science literacy is about. UNESCO, transparent organization, defines science literacy as a continuum of learning to enable individuals to achieve their goals, develop their knowledge and potential, and participate fully in the wider society. Science literacy should be an evolving state rather than a status to acquire. Learning science is indeed a lifelong process rather than the goal to achieve once for all. Science literacy, in fact, allows all of us to better cope with everyday challenges and make informed decisions that affect the health and quality of our lives, the lives of our children, and the life of the planet. This is the reason why an action point on energy, climate change, and green technologies was included in the Gender Declaration adopted at the end of the 12th, 12th 15th General Conference on November 4, in which UNESCO TWAS fellows asked countries to speed up the process of ecological transition and they become more accountable to their footprint on the planet. This is also the reason why an action point on science literacy was included in Jeddah Declaration, emphasizing how crucial it is to promote the systematic use of risk and evidence-based analysis and scientific approaches to reduce the negative impact of too much information, including false and misleading information on health behaviors. Misinformation kills, science literacy saves lives. That is how crucial education is. Education is more than a fundamental human right. It directly affects our ability to realize all other human rights. And education in our specific field and under the current circumstances, in fact, translates into science literacy. This is where UNESCO TWAS comes into play. To fulfill its very mission as an entity of UNESCO and a global academy dedicated to building scientific strength in developing countries in the developing world, TWAS is committed to establishing new international cooperation initiatives, including on science literacy. In fact, as I wrote an editorial on the importance of science for all in one of the TWAS newsletters, if people, for instance, understand the basic science about germs, they will more likely wash their hands. The same can be said of 
climate change. If a community understands the cause and impact of climate change, its people will more likely take remedial actions. The question then is how to enable communities and nations to build a culture of science that imparts strength and resilience. This question is at the heart of a debate now underway about the role of science in the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. I am sure that this very conference will give its significant contribution to finding viable ways ahead. Because your work, our shared work in fact, in promoting science literacy has the potential to make a crucial difference. I hope that this World Conference on Science Literacy will also inspire you to contribute new ideas and resources for the establishment and the development of the World Organization for Science Literacy. Finally, I hope that my virtual presence preludes a future set the partnership between our friends of CAST and the UNESCO Trust. So I extend my sincere congratulations to CAST on its incredible commitment in organizing this conference and wish you a most interesting engagement event. <laughs>